Hey, happy St. Patty's Day. It's not a beer, but I'm thirsty. Soon I'll show you a cool beer in the middle of this video somewhere. Happy St. Patty's Day. We're not doing no Irish, no bloody Irish Christ. We're going to do some Italian. And for all you Italians out there, I apologize, but this is uh, my half ass attempt at Italian. So I know the sauce is not authentic, and, but I'm, but I'm going to kick it up. And it tastes good. It's easy. A tough, you don't like it. Let me show you what we got. Alright, here we go. The original, this is a friend of mine's recipe. And it's like a, basically it's a, a pasta sauce with meat normally. For like, you know, spaghetti sauce. But you, I'm using this for making, uh, which I did mention in the video, I'm making, um, pork cutlets so anyway I'm changing his little recipe a little bit but what you're gonna need you're gonna need it uh, you can use whatever I'm using a pound of sausage instead of ground beef because I'm putting this on pork cutlets so I just want the sausage to flavor up the, the sauce pretty good but normally it just calls for a jar of this uh, 64 ounce tomato juice 12 ounces of tomato paste a medium onion Diced, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of oregano, three quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. And that's what hit the original recipe. I'm kicking it up with some nice ripe aromas in the sauce, some fresh garlic, and the sauce is just kicking it up. So I'm going to brown the sausage down, get uh, the tomato diced up, some garlic, probably half of this, four or five cloves of garlic. Get these chopped up and washed and I'll have it. I'll show you here in a minute. Alright, I got the meat about brown to left the grease, whatever grease is in there. Let's take our what is that like three or four cloves of garlic. I'll save some of this for the for the noodles. I want to do something like a garlic butter on the noodles just to give them a little flavor. Then we'll take the onion in. Just cook these a little bit and then we're going to add the sauce and, everything, and the rest of the ingredients in it. And let, it, let it simmer for about an hour at least. some fresh basil I'd be all over it but I didn't have any. I got some, I'm going to use some dry basil but sweet uh, basil leaf. Anyway I'm going to let this go a few minutes and I'm going to add the sauce and the rest. Alright here we go. Let me get my hairy arm in the way for uh, I'm one of my favorite subscribers. <laughs> Alright, there goes the tomato saw juice. This is the first time I've made this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, whether it's good, whether you should make it, I don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I've had the way he did it, I just changed a little bit. And uh Pretty good stuff. All right, I got that. We got a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of oregano. Maybe a teaspoon. Gonna do some basil. Garlic salt, just because we don't really need that a lot, but uh onions in there. I got these uh aromas chopped up pretty big. 
I want them to be kind of chunky and they're going to break down as it cooks, but I want them to be big pieces. Big a piece is a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, the tomato paste. The pizza pie, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this up, cover it up. Shit, drop my phone in the damn girl. Keep the vampire bitches away. All right, this is just gonna slow simmer for you know probably an hour and a half. If you get an hour, that's fine. And I'll taste it later for salt and pepper. I think I'm not forgetting anything. All right, we'll be back. All right, check this drink out. Fireball, two shots of Fireball, and whatever kind of cider, apple cider beer you like. Fake ice cubes that don't uh, open the water now. It's open. What's up? Yo. What up? What's this drink called with the with the Angry balls. Angry balls. That's if you use Angry Orchard or what is it, Angry Orchard? Yeah. yeah. yeah who's gonna but whatever. Use whatever kind of apple cider beer you like. You could call it... Let's chill the shot a little bit. If you had a nice, ice cold glass. You call it. You rock and roll. Uh, use a woodchuck. Yeah, you have to come up with a name for it. Wood balls. <laughs> Firewood. No, it's not a good one. There you go. Firewood, angry, angry wood. You're not using angry orchard though. Yeah. <laughs> is, that what four, is that four of those little displacement? That's what happened. I never did that before. Oh, there you go. It's good. Drink it up. <laughs> we'll have a name later for it. I don't know. I think firewood. It's been going like, uh, what did I put in there? Like, probably an hour or so. Tomatoes breaking down in it. Looking good. Got the pork loin in the freezer so it'll make it easier to cut it thin. I'm going to try to get them really thin. Maybe not that thin. Put it like that. All right, so we're just going to trim a bunch of these down like that and uh, probably hit them with salt and pepper and just on one side just to give them a little flavor. 
Then we're going to hit them in the egg wash and uh, just breadcrumbs. That's uh, Italian breadcrumbs. No, no seasonings in there, nothing. Probably don't need it. All right, we'll come back and we get. All right, just the old egg wash. Into there. And uh, we'll get them done. I'm going to show you frying them in the, in the oil. Got the oil heating up. I like two batches. This should be the cook part of it. Kind of. All day long. on each side, it shouldn't take long. We'll come back here in a minute when it's ready to flip it. All right, the oil will cool down, but there we go. I had to crank it back up. That's what we want here. Okay. Like Probably another minute or so, two. That should be about it. Hope it'll be crispy on the rack there instead of paper towels, you know. Fresh garlic. Gonna do some butter. Fake butter. Uh, I know you like the metal utensil sounds. <laughs> People whine about it. It's a metal utensil. In the, in, the, in the skillets, you're gonna be eating lead, they say. You're gonna be eating metal fucking shavings. It's true. It's stainless steel. You know, oh, not that. stainless steel, but we have right. one. Yeah, if you it use it. feels like you're eating rocks. If you do it in Teflon, yeah, you're gonna be. Destroying everything. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. We got the some, cheese. We got some good, good quality Parmesan cheese. Quality. Just gonna give it a little bit of that to yum it up. We're gonna fold it in. You gotta fold it in. <laughs> That's right. All right. How's that look good? Yum. The sauce is really good. These are done. Everything's done. Somebody burnt these few. <laughs> but they'll be good. Crispy. Hear that? It'll be good. We're going to plate it up and uh, 
We're going to do some taste testing here for the. We got some uh, victims to taste it. We're going to show you a little behind the scenes of their. Nope, no, no, so fucking. Of our picture <laughs> taking oh my God, that looks plate so here. Good. This is gonna be so that sauce is really good, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Do you want it all over it? All, all over, over the meat or is that no, good? That's good? Just so it looks yeah, now you gotta get your little napkin and wipe it like they do on TV. God. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <laughs> so we got some. Damn, I was going to get some cilantro in my. Now we so want some fresh cheese. <laughs> Great cheese. Just put Casey. it on the table. Oh. Which. I'm trying to, you to kind of push, squeeze down while you do it. Clean off the plate. Let's have a drink while we're waiting. He worked at all the garden. He knows how to use it. This is nice. Parmesan. You got some Reggiano? Look at that. We're still waiting on the bread, but that's the bread can go to hell. How the bread's done? The bread can come out from hell. Oh, shit. Sorry. I thought, why didn't it make a noise when you take a picture? Sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. There's nothing to be sorry about. You keep bringing I'm it getting up. sorry that this camera won't take a goddamn picture. Do you want these on longer or is it good enough for y'all? Hold on. It's like a <laughs> centimeter of dish. Alright, we're on cash. We're on camera. We're gonna this is the first uh I don't even know what I'm saying. We're taste testing this. I haven't even tried it. Ricardo's gonna tell us what he thinks here. What's it like? Good? Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. Nice and porky. Let's see, get in there. Yeah. Get a crunch. So it's cr got some crunch going? Mm -hmm. Crunch. Yeah. How's that sauce? Okay. First time I've done the sauce, and we ain't going to tell you if it's bad because. Because <laughs> we're on camera. Because, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it ain't gonna be bad because you know. No, we did it. Good, though. I could eat like forty more of those pieces of pork though. But then there's like forty left. Yeah, this is this is it. Awesome. Some crescent garlic crescent rolls, yum. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one later.